Hello again, everyone. Welcome back and welcome to the day after the 4th of July. We uh, are off enjoying a little time at home. Now, today we're going to look at the counterpart or one of them to the uh, Inmenso uh, cigars. We had the Maduro a few days ago. Today is the Sun Grown. Same size, 6 by 70 huge huge right down the band says sun grown there's your density wow does that look big or what now quick quick background met um jerry bailey while i was at the beach in uh Pauly's island and he gave me my first uh in Menso. Uh, it was right after they came out, gave me a sun grown Churchill, the 7 by 70. And I had it, I had to save it uh, for some for a time when I could really enjoy it. I was really concerned about how I was going to cut the thing, to be honest with you. Because all I had is my normal little Zycar cutter, which won't, well, you can shave off just enough to get a draw, but it's not the you know best way to go. So anyway, I had it on the way home, and uh, but uh, before that, I, I went to the shop, the cigar shop that he went to to get his. I'll give them a plug, and here is their address. And uh, I went and got the um, Epicure size of the Maduro and the um, Sun Grown. So we did the the uh, Maduro the other day. So they were doing the Sun Grown. This uses five year old Cuban seed Nicaraguan. Uh, I believe that's what Nick called it. Yep. Five year aged Cuban seed Nicaraguan wrapper over five year aged Cuban seed Nicaraguan fillers. That's what the um, sun grown version uh, is about. This cigar as it comes in three sizes, a Robusto, a short little five by 70. And this Epicure we have today in us Churchill was seven by 70. The price point is really good i mean you can get this cigar here for seven dollars seven and a quarter maybe um depending on your state taxes it may be up or down but uh it's around seven bucks normally so let's get right to it the new because it did just come out a month and a half ago perdomo inmenso sungrown epicure Now, I didn't really misspeak, but it uh, wasn't quite accurate. These re-emerged or re-came out about a month and a half ago. They first came out in the early 2000s when something this big was unheard of. Um, they sort of drifted away, but they're back now because the world likes a 70 ring cigar all of a sudden. And here we are. Oh my goodness, what a draw. I got to show you this. I didn't take off that much. There's what I took off. And uh, as I showed you the other day, I had to use this. I'm guessing this can handle, let's see if this is 70, 80. It can handle an 80, 90 ring monster. I don't know if I want to have anything that big. It's crazy. But if it comes down the pipe and I need to review it, I will. Check in my fuel. Good. Draw is excellent. Perdomo Cigars draw, period. If you find one that does it, I'm sure Nick would want to know because he would get quite upset. Nice citrusy cedar, nice brown sugar, 
light leather, nutmeg, and a light black coffee base. That is how you start. Black pepper at about seven. Very nice light up flavors. Very typical Perdomo esque sun grown flavors. If you're familiar with Perdomo sun grown, uh, very much reminds me of, of other cigars that they've made with the sun grown wrapper. Very nice and sweet with that little leather influence that it has. So, very nice start. Let's see how we progress to the first one. First third, ash still intact. And let's look at that ash. Pretty even burn. Look at that. Really looks nice. Now your flavors are about like I described. The citrusy cedar seems to have sort of downplayed a little bit. And the nutmeg has come out. But it's a very creamy uh, nutmeg. There's still light leather. New black coffee base. Medium body. Finish is a little influence of that citrusy, citrusy cedar with the nutmeg. And pretty good average or maybe about, maybe a little over a uh, lingering black pepper. The cigar is good. And as I said before, it's very typical flavors of Nick's Sun Grown. So if you like that flavor, you're going to get it in this cigar. The first third over at 93. Extremely good cigar. Now, um, I hope Jerry Bailey, the gentleman I met on the beach, I hope he's watching this. Jerry is from Ohio. So if you know, if you live in Ohio, <laughs> everybody knows everybody from Ohio, right? Tell Jerry I said hello. That is your first third. And it took us, what, 49 minutes to get here. Wow. So let's see what we have in the second third. End of the second third. And the nutmeg and leather are coming out. And the sweeter notes are downplayed because of it. Of course, you have your black coffee base. Medium bodied now, leaning a little toward medium full. The finish is nutmeg and leather, primarily, with nicely green black pepper. It's changed a little bit. I mean, the, uh, the sweeter notes of the Citrus cedar are really decreased. And the brown sugar, of course, is all suffering because of the increased nutmeg and leather. The second third, I would change the score to 91. It's sort of moving away from the way it started. So it's not the direction I would like it to go, but that's what's happening. So, uh. We'll have to see how the final third plays out. The middle section is the moving section. And I've always said that. If a cigar is going to change, it usually changes in the middle section. And this one did. So let's see what the final third has. down to the end so let's wrap it up did have a little burn issue here at the end i touched it up on the back side it's it's uh, at the point where <laughs> starting to fall apart a little bit but it's been a nice cigar but here in the here in the final third it kind of stayed on the same trajectory the nutmeg kept increasing and 
the leather was there. It wasn't quite as elevated, but it's you got nutmeg, leather, and then the sweeter notes, which are struggling to come through at this point, the black coffee base. Medium to full. Finishes leather, nutmeg, and a little sweetness, but not a lot. And uh, much improved lingering black pepper. The scar has been good. I uh, prefer the Maduro a little more than this one. I'm going to lower the score to 89 for the final third. And you see the burn time is crazy. Two hours and 14 minutes. I told you in the uh, Maduro uh, review that the uh, sun-grown Churchill got right at three hours out of it. That's good. Sounds about right. But... Uh, this is a good cigar. It just loses a little bit as it goes. And it's just so big. I mean, there's so much filler in there. And it, it, it has room to lose. And it did. But it's still good. I mean, your overall score is 91. And uh, I believe that's where it belongs. And it's a good cigar. It's just not quite as good as the Maduro. Perdomo makes some of the best Maduros out there. So, there you have it. The new Perdomo in Menso Sun Grown Epicure 91.